Sex Lover. So you never made in the mafia, not because you weren't. You now you say you were offered membership, right? Donnie wanted to propose me back in New York. I fought and argued with him. I did not want. I did not need the heat. Jimmy Cocci out here wanted to make me here, and came this close. It was this Sunday. There were two other guys bringing in from Las Vegas. They weren't going to get, get the button. And I could remember everybody was in my apartment. And uh, I told Jimmy, I said, Jimmy, you take these guys. I don't want to fucking go. I don't want that button, Jimmy. No, you got it. You got it. You're the guy out here. No, Jimmy, I don't want it. But then something happened, and Jimmy got an emergency phone call because one of the guys below Jimmy created some sort of problem. And Jimmy had to go to the sportsman's lodge in the valley. And the guy brought the bike, brought bikers with him. Now, Jimmy was a really old time. Jimmy Conchi was the sunny franchise of the West Coast. Jimmy also did a lot of time. And Jimmy did a lot of work. He was a serious guy, Jimmy. Uh, but one of the best guys you could ever meet. And... That actually saved my ass. And the boss there who was going to make us all was Pete Milano. When Jimmy's brother, Bobby Milano, passed away down in Palm Springs, he was married to Keely Smith. And they had a one-day service down in the desert for him. And I was in New York. And I promised Bobby Milano, his real name was Charlie Gachi from Buffalo. And just before his death, I promised him that he never had to worry. I would always take care of his brother, Jimmy. I'll never forget that day on the bed in his and Keeley's home in Palm Springs. He grabbed my hand. He says, you promise, Ori? I said, I promise, Charlie. He said, your word is the best in the world. And uh, I flew to New York the next day, and that's when he died. So they had one day service. And the boss, Pete Milano, sent a couple guys down to pay the tribute. He didn't go himself. But they had a message for Jimmy. Do you imagine the low self-esteem that this guy had to have? that he had to say to Jimmy Cox, you got to talk to Ori because everybody thinks he's the mob boss of Hollywood. I come from a boss. It's not something I started. It's not something that I ever even thought I was. You know, I had my own crew. I had my own people. I did my own thing. Uh, I just never did. Jimmy Cotchy was the only guy out here in the West Coast that I ever did things with. But I did it because even though he was a skipper, we were equal. You follow me? Thanks, brother.